One day, the Osmo Action 3 will be matured. Right now, it's not. It's missing a lot of things. This is the Osmo Action 1. We're going to look into loop recording. If I press over here and swipe all the way towards loop recording, I press it and I am good to go. If I swipe down and go to the cog and I go into snapshot, I swipe all the way down to the bottom and we also have loop recording. So this way, the next time I start my camera, it'll be on loop recording. But look at all the extras we have. AEB, timed, burst, HDR video, and so forth. Now, let's close this out. No, let's back out. And let's go to quick switch. In quick switch, we have loop recording. And we also have the photo, the burst, AEB, and time. These are the things that are missing in the Osmo Action 3. So we are on 2.725, doesn't matter what we're on. We're going to turn on voice control. Please forgive the camera and voice command, whatever it's going to do. Start recording. Start recording. As we start recording, it changes from loop to video. Well, I guess that's the end of this camera. It can't do what it's supposed to do. Record in that particular mode. Let's bring in the Osmo Action 3, where it starts to be the winner of the camera over the Osmo Action. But remember what I showed you and said earlier on? Let's get to this. If you look down here, this is your video. If you press on the video, it opens up to the video. It doesn't get you to loop recording until you hit or swipe up 4K30. Over here will be your loop recording. You press it, turn it on to whatever setting you want, and then close it down. If you go down into the cog, and you look for snapshot. You only have video, HDR, and hyperlapse. Nothing else. So you cannot get into those settings. Well, funny thing is, the GoPro has the last video, the last photo, and the last time lapse of that last setting. Something that now Osmo Action is doing. So anywhere else we can go in here, we back out, swipe down, and go to the QS. In the QS, we could turn on voice prompt that will switch it automatically for us. Or we can go down to see photo, video, HDR, slow motion, time lapse, hyperlapse, and playback. We don't have loop recording. So this is the test that you are looking for that the Osmo Action cannot do. Voice command. Loop recording. Start recording. It is recording video in loop recording. The Osmo Action cannot do it. But the Osmo Action has more features than the Osmo Action 3 has. It has HDR, it has uh, photo bursts, AEP, and so forth. Stop recording. And we are stop recording and shut that off so I don't make a mistake. Now, wouldn't you want to have all those added features that the Osmo Action has? And maybe one day again, we'll have it put in to the Osmo Action 3. I hope this video was somewhat entertaining for you that the Osmo Action 3 may not be the better camera over the Osmo Action right now. It is your decision which is the one you like best. I like my Osmo Action, but I like my Osmo Action 3 because it could take a wireless mic directly plugged in without putting in one of these to the camera. Have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed the video.